Hello my friends and welcome back. In this video, I am going to show you how to deal with applications that overflow their borders when using Komorebi, the tiling window manager for Windows. So the other day in the Discord, a user came in and mentioned it was two applications. It was Signal and it was Vivaldi, the browser. They said, these two applications, the borders are showing really weird. So I went ahead and downloaded Vivaldi. And indeed, it looks a little bit weird. So if you have the active window border, you can see it's kind of going over some of the UI here. But even if we get rid of the border, you'll see it's something is still not quite right. So let's do active window border disable. And here you can see at the bottom left, that's coming out a bit too far. Here at the bottom right, that's coming out a bit too far. And it, it just doesn't look very nice, right? Like you're moving it around and it's, it's the odd one out. So if you have read the readme, and I encourage you to read the readme, you will have been told about this repository, which contains a number of application specific configuration fixes for many, many applications contributed by myself and many other users. Unfortunately, nobody has added um, a configuration option for Vivaldi yet, but do not worry, I'm gonna show you just how easy it is to do that yourself. So the first thing that we want to do is we want to get some information about this window, this application Vivaldi. So we're going to do Komorebi state to start with. Now, do not be put off by all of this output. This is all the state of the application, but we're only interested in workspaces. And if you follow workspaces down, to here, to Windows, you'll see that the first window we have is Windows Terminal. You can see by the EXE. The next window we have is Vivaldi. And then the final window we have here in the bottom right is Microsoft Edge. So now that we have this information, when we open up a new terminal window here, uh, we can make use of a command that is specifically for these kinds of applications. It is called the identify border, border overflow <laughs> application command. So we'll take a look at the help here. And you can see that this identifies an application that has overflowing borders. This is definitely the case here, as we can still see in the bottom left and the bottom right. And it takes two arguments, an identifier which can be the executable name, the class name, or the title, and the identifier, so either the executable, the class, or the title. So we're gonna go ahead and say that this is uh, gonna be identified by the executable name, and the executable name is vivaldi.exe. And we're gonna send that. And then we're going to force a retile. And you might have missed it. It was very quick. But here you can see at the bottom left and at the bottom right, the borders are now where we expect them to be. And you can move it into different positions and the borders remain intact. So if you followed along with some of the other videos, this is usually where I would say, oh, how did that end up all the way down there? Uh, so where I'd usually go into the comarebi.ps1 configuration file and add something here. And like we can do exactly that, right? So we can copy and paste this uh, anywhere before complete configuration. We can say um, additional config for tricky apps. And like we can save that and that's going to be fine. But what I encourage you to do is to come over to this repo that I mentioned earlier, Komorebi application specific configuration. You can fork it 
And all you need to do is add in, actually, why don't we go through this process real quick? So uh, I don't have my SSH key here, so it's not going to be exactly the, the entire process, but we can clone this repository. We can change directory into this repository. And then instead of this Rebby file, let's open up this applications.yaml file with notepad, I guess. Uh, all right, so now we've got the whole thing. And what we're going to do is uh, we'll add an entry right at the bottom. I'm just trying to find a good one to copy and paste from. Um, border. Okay, here we go. Border overflow. Photoshop also does that. Great. So we're going to copy something similar. You want to look for something that has border overflow. Uh, we're going to come all the way down to the bottom and we're going to add that here. So we're going to change the name. The name is Vival Vivaldi. The identifier as we saw is an exe, the executable, and the ID is Vivaldi dot Vival D dot exe. And we can go ahead and save that file now. Komarebi comes with a command that helps to keep this file clean. Uh, it's called Komarebi C um, FMT ASC. And this is actually a shortcut. So if we look at the help here, um, it takes a path to a YAML file, and the full command, it's a bit long, is format app specific configuration. So we are going to pass the file that we just edited as the path, applications.yaml. And here we have files successfully formatted for PRs to the repository. So once you've done that, you can. Um, you can go ahead and commit it. Oh, git add minus p. Um, you can see it's added it in the right place alphabetically. It's checked everything. It's all good. Um, and you can commit. And you can say, um, how do I usually do this? I do feature apps semicolon add Vivaldi. Well, I don't have it set up here, but you would do that. You would commit it. You would open a pull request as others have done, and this would be added. And that means the next time there is a new release of Komorebi, you would have an updated version of, where is the file? You would have an updated version of this file where all of, all of these little fixes and configurations are included. So, you know, the next time a new user comes along, they've never used Vivaldi before. Um, oh, sorry, they've never used Comorebi before and they open up Vivaldi. It just works and, you know, they don't have to worry about it. So it is a nice way to pay it forward, even if you are not a, uh, a Rust developer, or even if you're not much of a developer at all, it's, uh, it's a really good way to pay it forward. And of course, the nice thing about the, uh, the repository here is that it can actually be used in any window manager because it's just a YAML file and any other application can read it and generate rules in whichever format they want. So that is it for the tutorial part of this video. And before I leave you, I would like to direct your attention to the sponsor page for this project. So if you are an individual user of this software, if you know it, if you like it, if you love it, please consider becoming a sponsor. Even a dollar a month makes a very big difference to me. If you are using this software at your job, if you know other engineers at your company are using this software as a part of their jobs, consider reaching out to somebody in your company, somebody like an engineering manager, a VP of engineering, or a CTO, 
and say, hey, you know, we all use this software. It is amazing and it helps us out a lot in our day-to-day -day jobs. And, you know, I think it is a worthwhile project for this company to sponsor. Well, that is it for this time. Make sure you subscribe if you would like to see notifications of new tutorials. And yeah, leave comments. Let me know if there are other features of Como Rebbe that you think would benefit from a video tutorial. Well, that is it for the video. This is the end of the video. And I hope you all have a very, very nice day.